everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Sinisha and this is Pips of Future Highlights. In today's episode, we're going to continue our deep dive into Getro Customizer settings and pick up where we left off in the previous episode. And that is the theme category in the Getro Customizer. We already covered site, global colors and appearance in the previous episode. And if you didn't see that, you have to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell notification icon so you can be notified whenever a new video comes out. But if you missed it, I will link it in the description below so you can watch that video to understand all of the options that are available inside Global Colors and Appearance. For now, we are going to cover some of the options in the team, not all of them, because there is way too many of them and the video will probably be way too long. So we are going to cover some of the team options and let's get straight into it. If you missed the previous episode where we covered site global colors and appearance, I will leave the links in the description below, but you can always subscribe to our channel and you will be notified whenever a new video comes out. All right. So in the team sections of the data customizer, there is a lot to cover. So let's check what's there. The very first option in the general subcategory is allowing the zoom on mobile. But this option is only available for Android devices. Now, Apple users, don't worry. Uh, this feature is uh, enabled by default on iOS devices and cannot be disabled. So you can already uh, pinch with two fingers and uh, zoom in, zoom out the entire screen of your phone. Okay, so this only works for Android devices and on iOS devices is there by default and cannot be disabled. Limit access to data options. Now, this uh, feature will uh, hide some options when you create a post or when you create the uh, page on your website. And in order to say it, I need to leave the leave the data customizer. So let's publish this change, limit access to data page options, go back to WordPress, and now try to create a new page on our website. Let's add new, hide this, and you see this data page, data page options. This is what that setting is hiding. But because I am the administrator of this website, I am still able to see it. I am now logged in as an editor user, which gives me enough permission to create new page without being an admin of the website. So let's try to do that. Go to pages, add new, and you will immediately see that that page options are not available anymore. All right. So let's get back to WordPress and switch back to admin. If you want to know how I'm switching between users on this website, it's with the help of the plugin called user switching that I am going to link in the description below so you can check it for yourself if you wish. For now, let's continue our important work and go back to data customizer. All right, now that it's fully loaded, Let's expand the theme section and check the scroll, show scroll to top button. That's the button that will immediately appear over here when I start scrolling down. Okay, that's the scroll to top button. I can disable it. It will not show no matter how deep I scroll or I can really show it if I want. Okay, here it is. Let's publish all of these changes. Now, when it comes to layout, there is a lot of options to set there, but for this particular one, it is really hard to see in the customizer. You can probably see it if you reduce this to, let's say, just 50 pixels and completely screw your website, 
then yes, of course, you will see it here. But if I extend it to, let's say, 5000 pixel, you will never see any change unless you have a monitor that can support 5000 pixel. Okay, so I really suggest that you uh, set some uh, good value over here, probably what it was as a default. And only if you wish to use the uh, entire width of the real estate of the screen, you can also use a 100%. Okay, but be careful when you're using 100%. Because if you go to your website right now, it will take the entire real estate of the screen, no matter how big that screen is. So if someone is looking at your website at the, I don't know, 60 inch screen, which is ridiculous, but let's just bear with me and uh, imagine that someone is looking at your site at a really, really huge screen your entire website will be stretched through that screen entirely, all right? So my suggestion here is to never actually use 100%, but better yet, use some uh, value that is normal for the majority of people. And that is the value we had by default. It will stretch, it will squeeze your site a little bit on the full HD screens like this one. And it will keep them on that width on the very huge screens as well. Okay. So no matter how big the screen is, your site will always have the same width. Okay, let's go back to customizer. In columns gap and middle column size, you can easily see the changes in the customizer when I when I do this. So it will uh, it will reduce the gap between the columns and the middle column size. It will increase the middle column at the expense of the, of the sidebars. So you can make the sidebars wider and middle column narrower or you can go in the different direction. OK. I like how it was by default, so I'm going to keep it like that. For middle column max width, you can uh, limit how wide your middle column is going to be, regardless of, that, of any of the options here. So let's say I want a narrow middle column and it will only affect the middle column. OK, so let's do 125 pixels. It's still not good enough. Let's do 300 pixels. All right. So with this option, I can limit the width of my middle column and it will be applied to all the pages, not just community page. Scrolling down through the customizer, we come to the sidebars. All right. Let's see what do we have here. Sticky sidebars will make your sidebars sticky. Uh, what that means is when someone is scrolling the page, when the sidebar comes to an end, they will stop. You see how I'm uh, scrolling the page. Let's do it. Let's publish and do it on the site itself because it will be easier for me to show that to you. OK, I'm going to start scrolling. And you see how uh, how sidebars are scrolling with uh, with the content as well. But this sidebar stopped scrolling because there is nothing more to show. And this sidebar is going to stop scrolling right now because there is nothing more to show as well. All right. So that's the sticky sidebar. Unlike sticky option. You can make your sidebars scrollable. So let's enable scrollable left sidebar and right sidebar. Publish this. Refresh the page on the front end. And now when I scroll the content, the sidebars will not scroll 
I will have to go over sidebar and then scroll it. Okay. I'm going to start scrolling the right sidebar. There it is. I'm going to start scrolling the content, but nothing is scrolling with it. And now I'm going to start scrolling the left sidebar. All right. So that's the scrollable sidebars. I don't like that options, so I'm just going to disable it. But you can use it if you want to. Now, similarly to what we did with the main column, making a fixed width, you can also have the fixed width for left sidebar and the right sidebar. All right. Under that, we have the option for the widget, widget gap. And this is the gap that is referred to in between the widgets. Okay. So I can increase that gap or reduce that gap or make no gap at all, okay? So I'm going to show you the trick right now. I reduced the widget gaps, so there is no gap between the widgets, all right? But you can still see this uh, rounded corners over here. And if you remember in the previous episode, in the appearance sections, we set the global border radius to 4 pixel, but we can reduce that to 1 pixel. And our site now is going to be completely squared, and you will not see that, that, that border radius on the, on the widgets. And all of your published widgets in the sidebar will look like one widget. So that's a little pro tip for you when you design your website. Okay, let's get back to theme. And we are configuring our sidebars. So let's increase the widget gap so you can see the difference once more. All right. And publish this page. Mobile visibility options should be self-explanatory. Okay, if I disable this, it will hide the left sidebar on mobile screens. And if I disable this op option, it will hide the right sidebar on mobile screens. So there is not, there is not much for me to talk about there. So I'm just going to enable my sidebars on a mobile screen and publish this page or this settings. With that, we completed the sidebar options. So let's expand the body and see what do we have there. This body class option is really for advanced users. And if you know how to create your own CSS, you can add the class to the body and then put the CSS to that class. If you don't understand what I'm saying right now, you probably never have to touch this option. And it's true for the majority of users that you will never really have to touch this body class option. This is really for advanced users that don't know how to create their own CSS. And this is just a little help to them. If you don't know how to do that, don't bother with this option. It's, it's really not that important. You can make all the changes to body settings using the, the different options. And one of them is using the body background image. And I have one really nice background image over here. Just let me find it. It's called pattern. It is here in random images. And here it is, my pattern PNG. I'm going to use this image. You see how it's uh, how it's having a diamond shaped uh, background. And yes, use this media. And immediately you will see that this is now going to be my background of the website, right? But I don't really like how it's uh, all over the place. So I can make it as a cover, which is going to try to expand the image through entire width or 
contain the image, which will try to reduce it in size. And I can make a uh, and I can uh, make it how I want it to repeat itself. So I can repeat it horizontally, vertically, or do not repeat at all. So it will just show like this. Make it a cover. Okay. And I am going to be repeat it vertically to cover my entire website. So this is now going to be the background of my website instead, instead of the solid color. But I like solid color, color better. So I'm just going to remove this background image. But it's an option if you want to use it. In the header settings, we can uh, make all of the changes regarding header. Okay, so header height, increasing and reducing the height of header. Let's keep it how it was. Header font size, we can increase or reduce the font size in the header. Long menu support. Now this is interesting and enabling the long menu will probably not show any changes because I don't have any long menu over here. So temporarily I will have to leave the customizer, go back to WordPress. But before that, let's publish this and remember that enable long menu is enabled. Now let's go back to WordPress, go to appearance menus and let's try to make our menus a little bit longer i am going to add this page to the menu and this page one more time why not let's add this one as well and save the menu now when i refresh the page because there is no room for the menu anymore this bar over here is showing all of the this hamburger actually is showing all of the other options in the menu that we have so site registration members notifications okay if i decide not to use the long menu support i can go to get a customizer theme and then header Disable on the menu support, publish this. And now when I try to refresh the page, it will kind of break my site, right? Because the menu is too long. So let's enable that back. So it looks nice. All right. Now let's get back to the customizer and discuss this sticky header. Uh, as you can see, when I scroll down, my header is being sticky and I can unstick it and it's now going to start scrolling together with the site. But I like it being sticky. So what will happen right now, if I start scrolling in the customizer, the header is going to start scrolling as well like it's not sticky but it actually is this is some javascript happening in the in the background and you actually have to refresh the entire page so i have to show this on the on the front end let me refresh the page okay the header is sticky let's unstick it and publish this change so go back to the front end now it's not sticky and it's gonna scroll together with the website if you don't see once again if you don't see immediate change in the in the customizer like here i enabled the header to be sticky but it's not being sticky okay don't worry this is some just some javascript in the background and it requires the page to be refreshed all right now these next options for the header should kind of be self-explanatory all right 
we have the option to change the background of the header if we want to all right there's a if you don't use the image logo you can change the text and tad line colors here but because we are using the image logo these options are not used we can change the header text color we can change the header links color links hover color and active link indicator that's this bar over here so let me change that to something green for example so you can see the change immediately all right let's publish this scroll down a little bit now we have a header menu we can align the menu to the left to the right or in the center i like it in the center so let's keep it in the center this menu over here and finally we can show or hide the search in header okay if i hide the search there is no more search bar anymore or i can show the search and it will show it in the menu and this is where i'm going to stop for this video because it's already going too long in the next episode we are going to check what's there in side nav mobile menu footer landing page and also going to cover options in the blog and maybe if we have time in widgets as well but for this episode that's all i have prepared for you if you like it give us a thumbs up subscribe to our channel and hit that bell notification to be notified when that new video comes out don't forget to follow us on social media we are present there as well links will be under the like button in the description below until the next video i wish you all the best bye